Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're here making it count by making delicious craft stuff zucchini boats. Yes, Mom, and with the freshness of crab, the nutrition of zucchini, and a bit of cheese is a one, two, three punch of taste, but deliciousness for me. I agree. <laughs> crab meat is high in phosphorus, and it's an important mineral for bone and teeth growth. Mm -hmm. Phosphorus is a mineral that makes up 1% of our entire body weight, making it the second and most abundant mineral in the entire human body. Yes, and not to mention, phosphorus helps the body remove waste and repair damage tissues. Mm -hmm. That's excellent information. Now let's talk about the benefits of zucchini. It is a versatile squash that's rich in vitamins, minerals, and plant compounds. Oh my goodness, and a lot of people wouldn't think of that as squash. That's another fun fact. And zucchini is high in antioxidants. But get this, it also has vitamin C in there, which can help with the lining of your blood cells and help you feel better and lower your blood pressure. Lower blood pressure, we're all great. Happy life. Happy blood pressure. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> we'll preheat our oven to 375 degrees and we'll line a baking sheet with either parchment paper or foil. We'll set that aside. Now let's take a medium zucchini and we'll slice it vertically and we'll hollow out, leaving the zucchini with the skin, of course, and about one fourth of the flesh. This is going to hold our crab mixture, our yumminess mixture. <laughs> we'll chop the zucchini pulp into small chunks. From there, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil to our frying pan, add our chopped onion, our garlic, and we're gonna saute that for about one to two minutes or so. From there, we're gonna also add in our chopped zucchini and watch that water evaporate. But here's the thing, you might have to release a little bit more liquid from the zucchini. They tend to hold a lot of water, anywhere between 94 and 96%. So that's a lot of water to remove. So we don't want a soggy zucchini boat. We can't rock that boat, can we? <laughs> can't rock the boat if it's soggy. <laughs> Now, we'll add the cooked zucchini mixture into a bowl and we'll combine the crab meat, mozzarella, feta, a beaten egg, flour, parsley, dill, and salt and pepper. We'll mix that thoroughly. Now, we'll scoop that ingredients into our zucchini boats and we'll top those with extra mozzarella, fresh dill, and a little more salt and pepper if desired. We'll bake that for about 30 minutes until the tops begin to turn slightly brown and bubbly with goodness. Oh my goodness. I can just see the cheese bubbling off of the zucchini boat. <laughs> so delicious. Absolutely. But we're gonna remove that from the oven. We're gonna let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, you know, to let it cool because you definitely don't wanna rock this boat. You wanna keep all of that deliciousness inside the boat. We'll serve this with a side salad to make a well-rounded meal and enjoy. There you have it, hopefully delicious and nutritious. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for a healthy, flavorful, and uh, hopefully delicious <laughs> recipe. And when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House.